So you can't see much of it, but I am wearing a shirt right now that I bought in 2007. So that makes it, I think, vintage at this point. And the reason I'm wearing a shirt that I, you know, bought in 2007 today and am telling you about it will be made clear in just a moment. But before I explain this random stream of consciousness, hello, I'm Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things. And today, I, again, am wearing a vintage shirt from 2007 because 2007 was the last time I had a really excellent milk tea. You're familiar with milk tea, right? The boba with like the tapioca pearls and the, like the giant straw and the... I loved those in like the early aughts so much. And and I moved from Denver where I got like the best boba tea ever uh, in like 2010. But 2007 was when I found like the best place in Denver to get milk tea. And ever since I left, I have not found one that even comes close to comparing. That still doesn't explain why I'm wearing the shirt, right? Boba shirt, 2007, obsession with boba tea. We're making a boba soap today. And this is actually pretty cool because there's some sort of national insert whatever thing going on today involving peaches. And so Georgia May decided she wanted to make peach boba as a soap, which is a cool idea. And she wanted to play around with this concoction that we have made involving a jelly soap. So like the, it, it, it jiggles like jello, right? Like jelly soap and uh, melt and pour soap. And we've been like combining the two and creating sort of a hybrid soap that still squishes and it's gel, it's gelatinous, but it doesn't just fall apart. It's not super fragile. And so she wanted to play with that and like actually make the tapioca pearls out of that to embed in the soap. And so you're going to watch that today and you know, see whether or not that was an awesome idea or an absolute fail. So this video is super short and sweet and I guess I should have lengthened it by showing, by showing you how we uh, made those guys. Now that is a combination of uh, jelly soaps and melt and pour. And the reason I did not show you <laughs> is because uh, George May, as she was making those, she was like literally gagging because the consistency of jelly soap is not appealing to either one of us. And so yeah, playing with that is never a lot of fun. But they're, it's actually pretty cool. The jelly soaps mixed with a regular melt and pour glycerin soap, it still has like the squishy texture to it, kind of like a boba, like the tapioca pearls, right? But it also has the, um, it, it, it firms it up so it's not feeling just like jello. And so, yeah, we, we like combining. We do a 50 50 split with that. So 50% jelly soaps and 50% melt and pour that it actually yields a pretty cool, you know, jelly soap type thing. Much easier to work with and much less fragile than just using a jelly soap. Anyway, she is now mixing up the oils for the peach boba. And the oil blend for this is my big bubble blend. So we have the coconut oil, the palm oil, the olive oil, the shea butter, and the castor oil in this guy. And there's also canola oil in this too. So we're looking at a 60% um, solid oils to 40% liquid. Castor oil is at 5% total batch, which is about the max that you can really do with castor. I've done more, but if you go too far over, things start getting weird and slimy and it takes a long time to set up if it ever does. 
So that is all mixed up and, you know, ready to go. She has it at a very light trace right now and she's going to add her micas into the batch and she just added her kaolin clay that has been dispersed in water for this guy. Now I'm interested to see if she gets any glycerin rivers at the end of this with dispersing it in water because I know what her ratios were for her uh, lye water blend and so this is a little bit more water than you know what we would normally do and so maybe she'd get some, she's gonna get some cool glycerin rivers and if she does that actually kind of contributes to the milk tea, boba tea, you know look of the bar which is awesome and I think the reason that this video is so short is because you know it's just the one solid color and those bars are actually they can be a lot of fun to make right if you just have a solid color depending on what you are doing with the you know overall design solid bars are awesome and can be completely and totally stunning but now this is all ready to get uh, poured into the mold. The consistency of the batter looks great. She's got no problem, so there you go. Put that delightful peach blend in there. It's a really good blend, you guys. It's so good. And uh, yeah, it's looking great, and it is ready to get poured in the mold and uh, see what she does with the, uh, the tapioca pearls there. I'm really looking forward to seeing how she puts those in and if any of this is going to work. Okay, now we are on to the pour, and again, solid color soap, which is, God, such a beautiful color. I really love the color of that, that batter. I'm gonna have to ask her, we'll have to see what it does in Cure and see if it changes, but I love that particular color. So I'm gonna have to ask her what she did to create such a gorgeous color. By at first blush, it looked like she used the Koi from Mad Micah's but she may have mixed it with something else to really give it some more orangey tones so it's not fully pink. But yeah, it looks like she's just gonna put the boba, the tapioca pearls, into the soap itself, and I, I, I love it. It's, it's This is kind of perfect, because you know, you know what, what milk tea is, right? Like, that's still a thing, right? Like, I was obsessed with milk tea in like 2003, seven there was this place in uh denver that weirdly did a great boba milk tea and also um crepes but the crepes had like corn inside it was so good it was the best place i miss that place so much i wonder if they're still in business oh yeah throw them in absolutely make them drop for sure <laughs> i bet she's having a lot of fun with this right now but knowing her, she's probably running the risk of the, you know, fresh soap batter uh, popping up and popping her in the eyeball. So, you know, safety gear for people who want to throw tapioca pearls into their soap, really. Don't, don't get it in your eye. But yeah, the, so milk tea, you know, it's amazing. And it has these cool, you know, boba things, these tapioca pearls that you, you know, you drink it all out of a great big straw and then you like suck up the, 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 the tapioca pearls and you've done this, right? Back when I was, you know, dating and not married, that was actually one of my first three date like tests. If the boy could manage to not choke on a tapioca pearl when drinking boba, then I knew that he could, you know, have another date with me but if he choked on it it was game over we, we were done like okay you're you're an idiot and uh we're all done here so this uh i was actually just thinking about the number of boys that i've done that to <laughs> anyway um yeah this looks beautiful the uh the batter is so good she could have done a number of different things with this particular batter which is really surprising because it is the big bubble blend so usually it thickens up really fast but i think this uh particular peach you know scent blend is extending the uh the trace pretty well and i love that and uh she has let this set up for a little bit and she's going to texture the top and knowing georgia may she's going to spend all of the time doing the most beautifully textured top ever because she is an absolute perfectionist in everything that she does yeah i mean look at it she even she, 
she moves the mold so she can get a better angle to make sure that that textured top is absolutely perfect. <laughs> You're amazing, George May. Thank you so much for caring so much about all of the things. Now, we were going to put like a straw or something in this to really drive the point home that it's like a boba drink, but you know, it's it's boba. We, we didn't do the straw. It gets weird when you start adding like foreign matter into your soap. It's very strange. And then if you don't, you know, we didn't have time to make soap dough with it to make a straw. So we're just doing it this way. And that's awesome. And you know, it's National Peach Awesomeness Day or whatever. So this is so fitting. And we've had so much fun with this calendar doing the random national insert weird thing here days for our soaps. So this is just another extension of that. And the soap really is beautiful, Georgia May. You can stop. You, you can put it down. You can put it in the oven for gel. I can't wait to see what it looks like with the cut. It's going to be awesome. Okay, we are on to the cut and it looks beautiful. Look how shiny everything looks. Oh wow, this is so nice. I am not sure if this is going to cut right. We were both questioning what's going to happen with the tapioca pearls that we created with the jelly soap and the melt and pour, right? Is, are they going to harden up? Are they going to still be squishy? Um, are they going to just sort of weirdly pull through the soap when we cut it? And we are gonna find out right now what that does because we've never actually embedded a, a jelly soap into a cold process bar before. Ooh, it looks really good. I wonder if she's gonna poke at it to see if they're sticky. No, she didn't, all right. Yeah, that is super pretty. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. So it's totally like the side view of like your your, your boba cup, right? You can see through it because it's always like those clear things with the, yeah, that is so cute. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I actually went into the shop after she had uh, cut this and the smell was so good. So I don't know if you guys remember, the custom bar for a wholesale client that I did, the peach sangria. So it has some of that in it, some of that blend in it. And it, that was like the best peach ever, like ever. My, my brother was in the shop as we were making it and he like wanted to eat it with a spoon. It smelled so good. And that's what this is too. Um, well, it's a blend of that with, you know, some other stuff to make it smell more like milk tea. But yeah, I walked into the shop after she cut this and I'm like, what is that delightful smell? These guys are so good, like so good. Not like a, a sweet, like sickly sweet peach. It's so clean and beautiful and weird. One side got one and weird. Yeah, she, she, she saw it too. What is that? Yeah, those are so cute though. I am loving that. It's such a simple bar and like, design. Oh, that's so cute. And it's good to know that we can do fun things with the uh, the jelly soap and the melt and pour in there. So we'll definitely be playing with that with more bars for sure, because that worked out really, really well. Yeah, you can kind of see them. You'll see them as you're showering. That's cool. And yeah, that's a day 142 National Peach Awesomeness Day. And it is, you know, awesome. These bars are super cute. It was a great idea. And Way to go, George May. That is absolutely beautiful. It was an awesome idea. Of course it was an awesome idea. I wouldn't have put it on the channel if it was a fail. I'm not gonna do that to my soap prentice. But I mean, look at that bar. That bar was super cute. It was very simplistic in its design, even though a whole lot of work went into actually creating the tapioca pearls and Georgia was like, physically ill, like she was having visceral reactions as she was making the tapioca pearls because the texture and the consistency of a jelly soap is just so weird. But you know, when you mix it with the melt and pour and it creates, you know, a more semi-solid, it actually works really well. And it survived this saponification. It survived getting cut. It survived and it looks super cute. So we'll probably be playing with this more within cold process soon. But for today, that is the peach boba tea soap thing. And if you're interested in it, you can totally find it on the website at soapandplay.com. If you are interested in more weirdness involving soap, subscribe to the channel because we do this every day. And sometimes it's weird. Most of the time it's weird. 
Um, anyway, that really does it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me for another round of 365 days of soap. I really appreciate anyone who tunes in and, you know, joins me for the thing. And so, yeah, thank you. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.